Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today we are going to do a little bit of maintenance on uh, the terrarium that we planted. I think it was a few months ago. It was in the spring, early sp I don't know, late spring, early spring, uh, it, it, summer, I don't know. This summer hasn't been very warm here, so it's all kind of just been spring. This last week has been beautiful, but uh, uh, it's now almost fall. So anyway, this has grown beautifully over the season. Um, as you might be able to see in here, uh, things are a little bit overgrown. Uh, not necessarily overgrown inside the terrarium, but they've grown up through. I don't keep this in direct sun, so it's stretching a little bit. Uh, don't really like that. I'll probably end up putting it into a higher uh, light location. But I uh, just want to trim this down so that it starts bushing out a little bit closer to the, to the ground level. Um, if you were interested in, in uh, making more plants, as we uh, as we trim these, you can repot these and uh, take cuttings. Uh, I'm not going to do that this time. I just want to uh, maintain this uh, this terrarium uh, a little bit better. Uh, I have the uh, the names of these plants. This is a, a type of creeping ficus, uh, and then I have a sing is it syngonium? I think uh, hard to see in there, right in there. I do believe that's what it is. And, uh, what's this one? Is it a, what is it, a pis, a piscia? I, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, you guys keep telling me what it is, and to be quite honest with you, I keep forgetting. Uh, <laughs> I need to write it down, and I did. I wrote it down for this video. I have a little cheat sheet over here with the two names on it. Uh, <laughs> so bad. So bad with names. I used to go to school for this, and I can't remember scientific names anymore. My brain's not what it used to be. Uh, just over here off camera, I just wanted to bring it up. Uh, do any of you guys have a favorite book that you keep going back to year after year? Uh, this one is one of my favorites. Uh, it's a really basic one. I got this, oh my god, I think 25 years ago. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. Time just flies, doesn't it? Uh, so anyway, this is one that I got a long, long, long time ago, and I used to look through this every day. It used to be like a bedtime story for me. I used to go in and I used to look at uh, different plants every day. I'd research it and I'd learn more and more about it. Uh, back in the days when, when uh, knowledge was staying in my head, now it just goes whoosh, right out. Um, but anyway, uh, this is one that, that I've had for a very, very long time. I have many, many other books. Some might say better books, but this one, for some reason, I keep coming back to it. Maybe because it's very simple. The... Uh, the pictures in it are really, really nice. You've got a you've got a drawing of the plant, and then there's also a actual photo of the plant. Uh, it gives you basic information: temperature, light requirements, uh, water requirements, uh, air humidity, and aftercare, like what happens after it blooms. How do you make it rebloom? So, and it also gives a, a basic description of plants. So, anyway, this this is probably by far one of my favorite books. An easy read. It covers a lot of things. Um, I've got, like I said, I've got many, many books in my collection. Depending on what I'm looking for, if I'm just looking for a basic, uh, what is this plant? This is a nice one to have. Anyway, I just, I don't know why I just wanted to touch on that for some reason. So, another one of the Episcias, or, hope I'm saying that right. I was going to say, if you, if you know how to say it, just, uh, type it in the, the comments below, but if you type it in the comments, I'm just going to say it the same way. Anyway, uh, the Episcia, this one's in a higher light location, uh, in a little terrarium. As you can see, it's growing a lot more compact. It's just barely now coming out of the, uh, the mouth of the jar, or the terrarium. And as you can see, the terrariums are quite a bit different in size. Uh, this one is, is in a low light location. Uh, it's dangling all over the place. And this one is in a highlight location, and it's just, it's growing nicely. I need to trim it so that it uh, fills in a little bit more. It's been, this, this has been the sunny side right here, and it's been growing into that. So anyway, uh, let's get right to it. Let's get to trimming this stuff. So I'll bring you in a little bit closer, and we'll start uh, hacking, hacking this stuff away. For those of you that didn't notice before, I guess you couldn't have noticed because I wasn't pointing at the floor. I put down this, uh, this, uh, I guess a kid's play mat down on the floor, on the concrete floor, uh, in the grow space. And uh, just having this, it makes it a lot warmer. So I think that my tropical plants, when I bring them inside over winter, will, uh, will respond a lot better than they did last year. 
I'm sitting on it right now and I don't feel uncomfortable. It's actually quite warm to sit on, so fingers crossed that it makes a difference. I will, I will obviously keep you posted on that. So anyway, to get started, we want some sterilized pruners. These are brand new, so they're pretty sterilized. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to chop some of this growth back. I don't want to go too crazy with it. I'm actually going to cut these two big leaves off of this uh, Episcia. Yeah, E-P-I-S-C-I-A. -E <laughs> I still don't think that I'm saying it right, but I have to be. Um, and then this... this um, creeping ficus. I'm going to trim this back quite hard. I want to I want to cut it right back into the jar again. Again, these could be used as as cuttings. Just uh remove the lower sets of leaves and uh, I would go with removing about 2 inches of leaves and then popping them in the soil, keeping them uh keeping them moist, uh lots of humidity and uh they should start growing very very quickly. All right, so we'll trim back another one of these. It's not going to look so great in the beginning, but uh, give it a few weeks, and then the new growth will start taking on its life of its own, and we should be uh, off to the races again. This uh, Syngonium, I hope I'm saying that right again, uh, it in time is going to try to grow out of the pot as well, but this one's going to be harder to cut back. Um, I don't think you'll be able to see, there's already a stem forming here, um, so it's going to be hard to cut back. We'll, we'll deal with that as, it, as when the time comes. Right now it's still quite small, and it's staying within the, the confines of the terrarium, so I won't need to worry about it for now. Um, but now we're back in here. I'm going to remove any of the dead or dying leaves on any of the plants. You don't really want that uh, to stay in there and cause any fungus. Just a little bit of maintenance here and there. This is where a pair of tweezers would be uh, very helpful. So anyway, I think, I think we've just about done it. So we've cleaned up this terrarium and uh, by next spring I'm sure it'll need to be trimmed again. I'll keep you guys posted on it and uh, yeah, fingers crossed it grows well. I hope that this uh, Episcia starts uh, flowering soon. I really enjoy the flowers on this one. Uh, this uh, green variety here has uh, has flowered for me. I meant to do a video when it was flowering. You can see some of the spent flowers right here in the, the bottom of the jar, right here on top of the leaf. Um, this was a beautiful red. I don't know what color the other one's going to be. Probably the same color. Um, while I'm here, I might as well trim this back to uh, start it into a branching mode. I don't need it to grow tall. I want it to stay bushy inside there and I want it to start coming out the mouth of the jar. So I've got all these uh, bits and pieces. Like I said before, if you want to start taking cuttings, now's the time. Um, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw these in the compost bin. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this. Hopefully your uh, terrariums are doing nicely. And uh, don't forget to maintain them. They do require a little bit of maintenance, not very much, but uh, yeah. Anyway, happy growing, everyone. Emophorphallus. There's the uh, inset, uh, anyway, the, uh, the red banana. Um, the Thailand giant in the corner.